in-body stabilization <laughs> is just nothing in this. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, wow. Okay. Shaky. It's just fun. <laughs> Interesting to say the least. We'll just continue walking and try and figure things out. Next time I'll, uh, next time I'll bring a gimbal for one of these. Yeah, probably that would be better. Yeah. You know what? We're going to do this. That's a taxi. Taxi. For people who don't know what taxis are. Taxi looks different in Tokyo. Taxis look different in Tokyo? Yes. What do you mean? They have like a more fancier, um, like a black ones. Okay. And they actually, it's not sedan. Okay. It has the hatchback. Ah, like, yeah, uh, yeah like the, the big, the big taxi. These ones. Yeah, those ones. I never see those in the countryside. We always, always have the uh, traditional white, long ones. Ah, uh, you look yeah. like you're cold. Yeah, yeah a little too cold. <laughs> Oh, this guy's, oh, I missed it. Mm -hmm. This guy had his finger deeply inside of his nose. Yeah. Like, like he was like scratching his brain kind of thing. Don't tell me that. But it was just, it was so charming. And I, charming. as soon as I got the camera on him, he pulled his finger out of his nose. Yeah, I was looking at what he was doing. So where are we, Sherry? We are in Akihabara. Okay. And what are we doing in Akihabara? Uh, walking. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about accurate. So. And uh, these are parking spaces, yeah, and yeah, this is not. Uh, this is not. But you know. Do you get a ticket? The, well, you know, if the the guys in the yellow come through, he'll definitely get a ticket. But oh. you know, that's okay. Yeah, that's another thing. We don't have like a like roadside parking spaces. You don't have roads. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess you don't, right? A lot more narrow roads. Right. We only have like maybe like one way street, or maybe like just like I don't know, a two way one each on. Okay. So it's too narrow, like if somebody parks and then like we can't really use that road. I see. Yeah. Um Train. walking below the tracks right now. I uh I can flip it. Yes. It's visible. And we're getting right into Akihabara now. There we go. With all the Akihabara this. Well, I guess the, today the shops are open. Oh, well, the pigeons are all on vacation. This is usually a pigeon hangout spot. Guys, do me a favor. There's like, I don't know how many people in here, but give the like button some love. I haven't seen that going on yet. And we're right at the, the main area of Akihabara. Do me a favor and do two things. Number one, give me, that, give me some love on that like button. And number two, let me know exactly where you're watching from and what time it is. We're going to spend a little time just hanging out here in Akihabara today, testing out the vertical live streams here on Tokyo Lens Shorts. This will, again, be a very long short. Long shorts long for the win. <laughs> I still say we've got to, like, we've got to get you on a boat. Yeah, yeah, we got to do that. Maybe that can be one of the things we can do to celebrate when the main channel hits a million. Ooh, that would be fun. We can rent a boat. And go through all the canals. Go through all the canals. So what do you think of these guys? What do you mean these guys? The the, the go-hart the go hearts. The go-karts in Tokyo. What do you think of this? Oh these guys. Oh wow. There's a like there's a lot of them. This is like for some reason I didn't see them. Yeah, they're too low. Yeah. I thought they ran it. Uh so they got sued by Nintendo for doing them as like Mario Kart or whatever, but they still exist. Yeah. So the guy who got sued, yeah. he basically just starts a whole bunch of companies. And so when one of his companies gets in too much trouble, he'll just shut it down and start a new company. One of those. Yeah, one of those. But there's been a lot of problems with these guys in Tokyo lately, like a lot of problems. Uh, because they don't obey the traffic laws, they'll like pull over at the side and like. You have the, uh, the valid driver's license, right? You gotta have a valid, yeah. You've gotta like have a driver's license to be able to do it. Oh. Wow. Uh, it looks fun though. Yeah, it does look fun, but they're so hated. They're mostly hated by like people on Twitter. Oh. So, you know, 
they're not real opinions anyway. They're they're Twitter opinions, right? Like, I've met very few people who are like in person. I hate those, but like everybody on Twitter is very vocal about it. All right, let's go do the Akihabara thing out this way. As we watch the go karts go by, the go karts are a thing. We're gonna head this way. I wonder if, how fast they can go. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that they've probably got Genski license plates on them, which means legally they would be. Li but the thing is, they're also not in the far left lane. True. So, because a Genski or like scooter in Japan is limited to like the, the far left lane at 30 kilometers an hour. Yeah, Maid was dancing, but, you know, I, I try to be nice and not put them on camera when I can. We have to have some people. I'd love to see 10 more likes on this in the next minute. Somebody give that like button some love. Let's check out these guys' phones. Nope. We couldn't see their phones. They're playing Pokemon Go. They're playing Pokemon Go? I've done that. All right, I think we'll be able to make our way up here and cross through the crowd. These guys are trying to catch a taxi. They know what's going on. The pedestrian walking thing is on Sunday? Yeah, so on Sundays and Sundays only, they close out these streets for what's called a uh, hokosha tengoku, a pedestrian's paradise. There we go. Go, 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 go. There we are. All right. And swing to Hariruya and see if they have any Pokemon cards. So that's okay. Every type of fancy. These boxes are so happy. It's our happy boxes. If you're wondering what they are, they're actually boxes that are legitimately filled with happiness. <laughs> All right. Got some questions and we're about to get some ants. Oh my God. Are they filled with Pokemon cards? All right, guys. Hey, what have we got? Stop flickering. These are still reasonably priced, see? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait until, like, this dude, like, this guy has got his, like, face pressed right up against the glass. But once it's not, let me show you. Oh, they've moved the expensive cards. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, we're still looking at cheap cards. Oh, that is so unpleasant. Oh, sorry for the flickering, guys. Still cheap. Huh. Actually, there's like a lot of cheap cards here. Okay, so here you go. <gasps> it's Roku Mayen for that card. <gasps> or Nizu Yo Mayen for that card. Yeah. So, do you want to play Pokemon with a Ju Yo Mayen card? Is it worth it? <laughs> I I would imagine it's probably not. And like the, the 25th anniversary Charizard for Nizu Nimam. Yeah. But like, I would understand like Pokemon's can be very expensive, but like these people. It's always the people. As I said yesterday on yeah. our stream on the Explore channel, right? Like, right. it's the girls, right? So they get so excited. They're like, oh my goodness, there's a girl on the card. I better pay a ton for it. But I can actually get some cards here, like strengthen out my deck. Oh yeah? Because these are like reasonably priced. I don't like how like they've got the sticker right over the waza. Ah, that's so the you, most important part. Yeah, you can't actually see what the, the card can do. So if you want to buy it for like battling and stuff. Mm. Actually, I feel like I should probably stop flickering. I feel like I should probably get Kono Bizadon at some point. Because I have a collection of the Pokemon Go ones. Mm. But I don't have that one yet. Look how happy that Pikachu is. <laughs> 
He's just so happy. <laughs> and right now I am working on my electric and psychic deck, but I am uh, I'm trying to build it out with like really useful cards. My oh my god. Oopa. Okay, moving on. There we go. And I don't do any like serious competitions or anything like that. Uh, but every now and then I will have like a match or two in the studio just for fun. Got to keep the studios a fun place, right? Yeah. And I'm yeah, like, I guess you'll learn how to yeah, do I'm like low key teaching Sherry how to play Pokemon cards. Yeah. And uh, in the next like couple of weeks, she's going to get to start doing matches and whatnot. <laughs> And now we're like into the, the heart of the back streets of Akihabara here. And I was like just checking out the random electronics shops and stuff. And is my watch giving me a notification? To, nope. So if you want to buy random bags <laughs> for six ninety, they've got bags for six ninety sure. that don't look like they're worth a hundred yen. <laughs> Man, the number of times that you and I have come out to these shops to like buy hard drives and stuff like that, build computers and wow. We've built at least two different computers yes, yes, yes. and bought countless hard drives. You say we, but mostly you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I just <follow> around. <laughs> it's just been so long since I've come out to like do any of that stuff that I don't know if like any of it's like decent anymore. Like these are like really low spec for high price, like an i7. Well, I guess it's the 1400 series, but still, hmm. that just feels pricey. There's a place down around the corner called Mouse Computer. Yeah. And I had them custom build a computer for me during the pandemic. Cool. And uh, it like, because of like parts shortages, it was like eight months delayed or something. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of ramen out here. Yeah. Because you need food. Pe people gotta eat. I don't imagine that this would actually work all that well. A 3D art pen. So it's like a, a 3D printer pen. Right. But... I've seen videos of people making yeah, but something out of it, but... How good can it be uh, for 1650? <laughs> I guess it's for kids. Like toy. A couple of years back, I came out with a bunch of my buddies and we bought all the weirdest, cheapest tech we could buy. Mm. And most of it was just terrible. Like, all of this stuff is things that you'd be able to probably get on AliExpress way cheaper anyway. So, thanks so much for shoving through. Have a good day. Like, just literally just shove the bag. You're like, yes. Welcome to Tokyo. Gotta love it. And this one's a mosquito killer. Like, how would this kill mosquitoes? Like suck them into something and, and then it. explode them in the like mosquito killer okay insect repellent watch like it's not like i would want to gather a bunch of mosquitoes in my like studio and test it out but <laughs> yeah because the japanese cell phones used to have this functionality old japanese garake there used to be, you know how they had like one seg TV and stuff like that? There used to be ones that had this technology built into them where they'd in the summer be letting out like a high pitched noise that gets rid of the, uh, the bugs. Okay, so in English, you know what it's called? 
It's called a back scratcher. Very simple. Uh, in Japanese. And what does mago no te mean? And why is it called the hand of a grandchild? So does that like get outsourced to grandchildren? So that's like a, is that a cultural thing? Like, and does the grandchild do it themselves or does like the parent have to pick up the child and move them? Like, <laughs> like three generation job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scratch it back? Yeah, yeah. Usually it's made out of uh, bamboo, traditional ones. So if you've ever wanted to get your own DSLR, <laughs> this one is camera brand. It's a toy camera. It has a game in it. It has, oh my God, mini it's game. got a mini game inside. It can do photo, video, and mini games. I'm really curious about the mini games. Oh my Lord. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to redo my like weird crappy junk video. I always like wonder if I can use like one of these uh, like, plates and then like uh, tape it around the sign of my English school. Make a shine it's possible, but I feel like these ones would be weirdly like they'd probably Colorful. no, no, they'd be underpowered and like not enough light. Like, to put it you, outside. yeah, you gotta get good ones. Like, you know, the one that I made the neon sign out of, like, that's actually like a good one. You get cheap ones, and they'll be like too dark to even see them at night. Yeah, so. And you got these, like, the high-quality music that gets played here as well, which is just wonderful. And these um, random leather scraps. Pretty sure some of these are actual leather, too. Yeah. Oh, God. That now the, the music is loud. There we go. Insect repellent watch down there. Oh. I don't know why they do it. Like... The, the music at these shops is just so unpleasant. Yeah. So, it must have meaning to it. Like it may be or annoy them. <laughs> so here's something that like is not a super common thing overseas. Japan has a, a culture of erasers. Like not just like, oh look, let's make some like really neat, nice erasers. But for example, Japanese kids will use an eraser and then pick up the like eraser garbage and turn it into like play-doh. Yeah. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> there are a specific uh, eraser for that, like you can like maybe make stickies or something. Yeah. Maybe you can make like maybe kishi. Yeah, yeah. And like there is a uh, there's like a a like anime character called Keishikasukun. Really. Yeah. And there's like this, there's like animes about erasers and everything. So, you want to go? You want to go bicycling later? Why not? Sherry actually cycled all the way out here from Tokyo Tower. Great job. Yeah, that was fun. It was fun, right? It's not a bad cycle. No. So, or if you're not in the mood to cycle, we can just we can take a monster truck all the way back. <laughs> So, and umbrellas for three fifty, and this pretty much. Let's see what's like in in here. These like these cheap fake kendama that aren't really kendama, that are like definitely made in a factory in China, and probably cost them like like thirty cents to make. Yeah, this is like children's toy, right? Yeah. But this isn't even like, you can get like a real kendama for like 10, 15 bucks, oh, yeah. right? And then there are these that are like scamdamas. Scamdamas. I'm, oh. I'm pretty sure I had the exact same one when I was a child. Yeah? Yeah. They just made like a thousand of them and then sent them everywhere. Probably. That was their plan. And you can get these uh, little omamuri that have not been blessed by anyone except for the, the corporation that imported them. So. Gyoza. Wow, that, one, that one's just straight up a gyoza. <laughs> There's some great hair accessories here. 
like the uh, the hair clip onigiri for 880 yen. I like the, the, the egg. It reminds me of the... Uh, did you ever see the uh, the video of my quarantine? And so. I was served an egg that was in, of comparable quality to this one. Yeah. This egg actually might be softer than the one I was served. It bends more. It bends more. Irashaimashita! There we go. Uh, Akihabara is bopping again. There's like a lot of people once more. Well, thank you. And over here we have super potato. Super potato. It's super potato. Super potato, which is uh, it's a uh, retro game shop. Oh. And it's a great one. Okay. But if you see the hallway that it takes to get in there, yeah. it's just such a risk to the signal. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. True. Yeah. yeah. So. Wait, is, there, is this just the name of the shop or there is the, uh, the retro game that's also No, no, that's just the name of the shop. Oh, okay. They also don't sell potatoes. Oh, okay. So, there are no <laughs> zero easy. potatoes being sold in the shop. Oh. We're going to cross over this way. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not... I'm No photo. Yeah. Uh, they, like, hide their face, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, it's because they're like, you're not supposed to be doing that anyway. If they have that sign made, like, why would you yeah. stand on the street yeah. and do illegal stuff? Right? Like, if you feel the need to carry a sign that says, no photo, yeah. and shove it in front of your face, maybe don't be doing an illegal job on the street. Right. That would just, you know, that would just be my, my tip, you know? That's like... That's like being a pickpocket and who holds up a sign saying, no arrest, please. <laughs> like, yeah, that's... Oh, it's so that's windy like, lately. Really Same shop, Akibao. And uh, this one is a really fast heater. It'll heat you fast. And then there's this here, this cat race. It's fantastic. You can race your... You're just hiding, you're just hiding from the wind, aren't you? You're just hiding with the erasers. Yeah, erasers. Yeah, there's just a, a giant dragonfly up there. Uh, this is also the same thing. Uh, if you pin it, uh. then the mosquitoes won't bite you. Uh. <laughs> I think they're just reaching at this point. <laughs> this one's a shaver. That one's like, seems like a really high quality shaver. That would almost definitely rip off your skin. So. And all of the, there's like a ton of flashlights and whatnot here that I would not expect to last for more than 30 seconds. Oh. There's 108 games in here for $13. It's like 108 games probably that no one's ever heard of. It doesn't say what any of the games are either. It's probably like 106 versions of Tetris and a Mario knockoff. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cell phone's better. <laughs> Have you ever played the Karimba? No. I think probably <laughs> Nyao Domo. <laughs> Yeah, Kind of, yeah. Well, you can like play it like a like a full-on instrument. Mm. And and this one has a, a manual in the Nihongo. Thank you very much. So you could be like, wow, I'm a pro now. Yeah, like in Japan we um we use do re mi fa, right? Yeah. And in English it's like uh the alphabet, no? We say do re mi fa so la ti do as well, but you know the, the musical, the actual musical scale yeah. is different from just do re mi fa so la ti do. Right. You didn't you didn't learn a lot about music, did you? <laughs> yeah, Sherry's Sherry's frozen. We we also do like do re mi fa so la ti do. Yeah, but like 
it just suddenly was like unable to connect. Why? What did I do? Did nothing. Guys, give the like button some love. And again, when we did our live stream the other day, we came across Heart of Hearts and they're going to be opening up again. So yay for that. Oh my goodness. I forgot the other day I wanted to come by and buy stuff from this shop. It's open. It's open now. It's I don't remember what I wanted. From yeah, this is the one that opens from noon. I don't remember what I wanted to get. It definitely wasn't the Eiffel Tower Lego. There's a lot of air guns there. Okay. What did I want? And is it even there anymore? We were talking about McDonald's Yeah, I think the one that I was going to... Oh. Okay. I think I found him. Yeah? Yep. Ah. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to get those McDonald's like burgers and whatnot. Just because they're freaking adorable. All right. Hopefully. Yeah. すいません。この窓にあるものはどうやって買うんですかあ、はい、ありがとうございます。ショーケースお願いします。あ、はい、こちらの。はい、ありがとうございます。あ、すいません。こちらのマックドナルドの。はい。えっと、こちらを一つと、これちょっと見ていいですか。じゃ、こちらもお願いします。あと、このポテトの方。はい。この3つでお願いします。ああ。ちょっとカードバラエティ的な。はい、日本だ。プレゼント。うん。うん。ビビビビホールアップヒュー。アップヒュー。アウトライクああ、ユーガナユーズザカード。ザカードクレジットカード。ザカードクレジットカード。ザ
That is terrifying. Dendo, so it moves. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's just wild. Okay. Like this guy here. <laughs> I gotta get you watching Rick and Morty. Ah, uh, yeah. I started like I started watching a little bit. All right. It's gonna get the crowd. Oh, there you go, frog. Man, you've seen the uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obsessed with the frog. Yeah, like specific frog. Were they obsessed with? Oh, cha. It's actually oyo cha, but he opened it up and it just became oh cha. Okay, I think that's all I wanted. It's still stuck. Oh my god. That makes me so happy. I rescued it. Yesterday we did a live stream in the morning on the Tokyo Lens Explore channel and this had fallen off and I didn't want it to blow away so we reattached it and then it stayed Yay. and now I'm happy. Yay. Little wins. Little successes. How does it taste though? It's good. The Max is always... I 100% recommend the Max. Do you like sweet beverages? Yeah. Which one were you looking at? I thought you were talking about the... Uh, the oil tub? Okay, that, that's not... Uh, that's not no, so about. yesterday we were walking through here and this one had blown off. Super crazy wind lately. And we rescued it and just stuck it back on, but I had zero confidence in its sticking ability. Oh. And it's still there, yeah. I thought they were falling off like they wouldn't... <laughs> yeah. uh. No, no, like the, this had fallen off and we managed to rescue it. I'm just happy to see it's still there. Okay. So. Also, love the uh, Beretta sweater. And there you go. I for 20 bucks at the second end. So. Which uh, part of Italy? Uh, North Italy. Oh, uh, okay. From uh, Bergamo. Oh, great. Well, I'm Norm. Hi. Thanks for talking, Michael. Have a good day, eh? Yep. See, always nice people around. All right, more computers. Also, I'm like very aware that I'm just carrying random hamburgers now. Oh, yeah. So, like when I was like, and like, he was so specific about it too. I was like, Kochira, like this one. And he's like, oh, big muck on the hole, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah. So this Suragaya specialty store is sometimes really neat, sometimes eh. So I've opened up a whole bunch of these like 1900 yen, like whatever boxes, right? And uh, these here, like in one of the 1900 yen boxes that I opened up, I got an iPad. Yeah, it? it works. It's an old one, but it wasn't broken or anything. It charges super slow, but oh. it works. Wow. Yeah. And nice. so now I always like to explore when I come by. I feel like everyone's just lined up for the elevator. But also it's like really hard to find affordable TVs in Japan. Okay, like a TV this size, if you were to go to Yodobashi or something, mm -hmm. because they focus on Japanese makers, is going to cost you two to six thousand oh, dollars. No. This is Yomaha Sam. Yay. Yeah. So cheap. It's also a brand that I've never heard of. Konica. Konica. Konka. Konka. It's not even Konica, it was Konka. 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 All right. Yeah, uh, that'll be right. All right. Uh, this is always my favorite. Yeah, but it's junk. She don't work. What does that mean? Means that something is severely wrong with it and you accept that in your purchase. Like it doesn't work. It might not. It might just need one or two small changes. Sometimes it's got written on like what, what's wrong with it. Sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the shop. But like... If it doesn't say junk, you've got a pretty good chance of it working, but they, they've got old Game Gears and stuff here. Game Boy Advance. And a while back, they had a giant bucket full of old uh, Apple uh, iPod, like the, the one with the screen. I don't remember what it is. 
Or what is that? This just feels <laughs> uncomfortable. Okay. But like, look at all the PlayStations. Ooh. It's all the junk, 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 junk. Yup. It's like shattered. Yup. But that's why it's 15 bucks. Why? Like, why not? Why the people who want it. There we go. Yo, Shay. Yeah? There you go. Ah, I I used to have this. Like, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what it was. iPod Touch. iPod Touch. Those are the words I was looking for. Yeah, it's just a giant bucket of iPod Touches. And this old iPod Shuffle Touch Scream Kalunker. I don't know. For 16 bucks. But they're like 25 bucks a piece. So... If you've ever wanted an iPhone, iPod Touch, now's your time. Come out to Akihabara and buy yourself one. This is like super, look at it. Yeah. Dirty. Oh yeah. They all, like all the white plastics end up going gross like that. Uh. Is this? I, I can't tell, I guess this was an official Apple product. I don't remember such a thick iPod. Like, it's just, it's huge. Mm. It's small, but it's not. Yeah. Maybe you want to be, like, for second generation? No? So, there was, they had these, uh, these ones here that had cameras on them. Oh, yeah. And the camera quality was absolutely terrible. <laughs> but these, people started to get into uh, trouble with these in Japan. Mm. Because you know what they were doing? At the time that these came out, it was the smallest, like, like camera. The smallest form factor camera that you could get in the country of Japan. And so, men were inserting them into their shoelaces and going on to uh, the escalators and... Like, literally, like... Doing this. Like this? Going like this, just like... Yay, yeah. So Japan being lovely Japan. If you're new, welcome to Tokyo Lens Shorts. I'm gonna be doing vertical live streams every now and then and talking about the weird parts of Japan. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We're talking about how the iPod little minis here, whatever, that had cameras became the ultimate like pervert tools in Japan. Uh, and they got harder and harder to get because of that. Cause Japan was just like, no, no, no more. But like a Japanese iPhone? Yep. Like a louder camera sound yeah, yeah. because of that, right? They have a louder camera sound. And overseas, you can just turn the shutter sound off. Um, In Japan, you what? can't. But the newer iPhones, so like this is iPhone 15. Mm -hmm. If I go overseas, the camera, the shutter sound automatically turns off. It's like kind of region lock now. Yeah. So it's not like a device. But it's more like, like you know, they know the location where you're at. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. They used to have so much, like, Nintendo stuff here. Huh. And the amount of Nintendo has kind of decreased. Oh, my goodness. It's just so much junk. All right. Let's go find more Japanese pervert tools. These, these air, ear pods look like they'd be used by a pervert. Those are pervert ear pods. Okay. Everyone was gathered out here, and I'm pretty sure it was just for the elevator. But every once in a while, this shop will have, like, Nintendo shipping crates of, like, old games. Oh, okay. And just, like, the crate of old games itself just sitting here. Oh, yeah. Hungry and... Oh, excuse me. But I always wait until they have their specials because they'll have like a golden week special or something like that. Well, they have $5 boxes and then $19 boxes. And the fresher ones tend to be much better. I got really, really lucky with the ones that I opened. I got like iPhones, iPads, like all this other stuff. And like some people got... S okay, so I'm guessing... I will also say that people went to this shop, Surugaya, after I did that and got boxes and they got nothing but garbage in it and were really pissed off. So I will say I likely just got incredibly lucky with the boxes that I got, but people were furious. Like I had people commenting on my videos being like, this is obviously sponsored. This is a scam. Like I, I'm going to find your studio and I want you to like, yeah, 
I'm gonna find your studio and I'm gonna take that money back off of you. Uh, yeah, there's like just a whole like window of maids there. That's all. That's, that's like a lot. See, but the ones in the windows and whatnot, right? Because they're on their own property, they don't hide because what they're doing is not illegal. Yeah, like they're just on their property. Yeah. Oh. All right. We'll head down. There's a, a hard off down here, which still, like every single visitor I have to Japan, just cannot get over the name hard off. <laughs> like what a name! That is the best hair I've ever seen in my entire life. I, I wish, I wish, I had curls or volume like that. Oh yeah. Yes. Like, I I've got like, like like just normal like bland like no no excitement no cool color no curls or anything you know yeah but like yeah so it, if i had like thick japanese volume in here or like really like badass awesome curls like that i would love it but <laughs> i've just you know the, i guess the the, the grass is always greener on the other side of the right. fence, right? There's <laughs> probably a whole bunch of maintenance that comes with it, and it's probably hard to take care of, but still. All right. So, we're, and yet another Akibao. There's so, This one seems a little quieter. We might actually be able to approach. Every now and then I'll make takoyaki in the studio. Yeah. 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 You want to have a takoyaki party in the studio? I've got all the the stuff, and I just one hundred percent would not trust like a fifteen watt MagSafe charger mm. from Akiba. Like that thing would blow up your phone, and then you would oh, die. Really? I just don't trust it. Oh. Like the the impedance and the like the, the resistance and all the little like finer things, like. How can I put it? Okay, the easiest way to describe it. I once added a layer of tape over mine mm -hmm. so I could stick it to something, yeah. right? Uh, for my Apple Watch, for my Apple Watch charger. But that little bit of extra like gap mm -hmm. between it made it work that much harder. It heated up the battery and exploded my Apple Watch. Uh, yeah. I thought the Apple Watch was wrong. Huh. So I, got, I replaced the Apple Watch and I kept using the same charger and a brand new Apple Watch, oh. it did it again. So. These, these like wireless chargers and whatnot need to be like designed with a certain level of like accuracy. Right. So there's stuff like that that I just, chargers and whatnot, I don't risk on the like, I don't, I don't want to charge my like thousand dollar phone with like a $15, $10 charger yeah. anymore. It's like a charging table won't cost that much, right? And if you get like a good one and you actually take care of it, like I I've had the same one. charging cable for the last like, maybe two years it's not frayed it's in good condition i think it cost me 35 dollars yeah. and it wasn't from apple so you know oh, there's no oh. i i just got like a good one that'll actually like last like a braided one and if you've ever wanted to buy a new shower head akiba is your place to get it or your why do they have the like, like have the magonote everywhere i don't know why they're like very excited about the magonote if you've just stumbled on this live stream and you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe and give that like button some love. Let's see if we can't spike that up by 20 likes in the next minute. And then this store sells the color red and blue. Yeah, they have a really fancy machine in there and a boat. And uh, once again, I'm the boss of this place too. Yeah. <laughs> He's in a good mood. He's just clapping and dancing. All right, so we're gonna approach hard off. So hobby off and hard off. It's got hobby off and hard off. Yes. So one of the one of the hard off staff has like kind of become like a fan. Because I go in so often and I'm often like recording or doing stuff for YouTube or with other YouTubers and like I guess they kind of fanned out and so whenever I go in they're always they're like really calm about it but as soon as the camera goes off they're like <laughs> so, 
I don't know if they're going to be, it doesn't look like they're there today. Might be peaceful and quiet. So this is the kind of prices you can expect when it's not junk. Mm. And it's in Tokyo. Yeah. But if you get, if you get out of Tokyo, it's so much cheaper. Like I went to a, uh, I went to a thrift store in Miyazaki. Yeah. And everything was dirt cheap. Mm. I got like an inbox Game Boy, like an inbox original Game Boy for like 4,000 yen. Mm. Yeah. So a tenth of what you get in Tokyo. Yeah, like literally a tenth. That's, that's worth it. Yeah. Do you know what that is down there? Mm. No. This, this one. The yellow one? Yeah. Uh, uh, we, uh, I saw that. No? Like we, we, we did the shoot together. Yep. You remembered. I don't, know, I don't know what he does anymore. <laughs> but I remember seeing it. I always like going down into the junk section. I don't know what the signal is going to be like, but we're going to give it a shot. Oh, is it one in? Yep. Because the junk section is where all the good stuff is. All right. Here we go. So. I'm pretty sure that all these are actually modeled off of the, the staff who's like the fan now. Oh, yeah, because oh. like this is exactly what she looks like. <laughs> all right, we're going into the belly of the beast. There we go. So you got PlayStations for, oh, oh, signal's going down. Oh. We got two bars, we got to stay near uh -huh. the door. We will see. Did we freeze? People are saying, I maybe. It, <laughs> it is there. Ooh. Signal is dying. dying. Okay. Okay. If signal is dying, we shall escape. I love like this though. Huh, Junk is true. treasure. <laughs> okay. They're saying it's 144p. We will escape. We'll look at these. And this guy's shoes. The original Insta360 Go, yeah. So they've already come out with a Go 2. Hmm. And I can tell you right now, the Insta360 Go, the original one, yeah. used is not even worth 5,000 yen, let alone 22,000. What? I thought you liked it. I like it, but this is the original version. It's not the number two. So oh. there's Insta360 Go 2, and then I think there's a Go 3 out now. Okay. So this is like the oldest version. It's a good camera, yeah. but I think the oldest version at most, your battery is going to last you like an hour. Mm. It's going to get up to like maybe 15 minutes of recordings okay. and then it's going to be full. Like it's not great. And for a GoPro Hero 10 Black at 38,500, definitely not worth it. <laughs> like that, that is, that is, that, that's terrible. Just don't ever, okay. Don't ever buy a GoPro because they're not reliable and they do not work. And if you try to use it to record something that you actually care about, you'll lose everything and your life will suck. That is my stance on GoPro. And GoPro, if you want to come after me for that, I've got at least 40 or 50 like different examples and proofs. So, you know, bring it. Absolutely bring it. And... This is, wow, that's just like a... USB. It's just like a little, yeah, USB tap switch thing with each one having... I don't know why you would need to turn them off. Uh, I can't, I think, I feel like it's a gimmick. <laughs> I feel like it's got to be a gimmick. I never have a great experience with Elegum for some reason. So... What do we got here? 5,000 milliamp hour power bank. And over the game. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Game Boy, Tetris DX. All right, and loop around. 
You know, I got all those, uh, I got all those original Nintendo things for my Nintendo video, right? Mm. They've all doubled in price since I bought them. <gasps> yeah. Somebody's watching. Like everything has been, because uh, they're just getting harder and harder to get. I just oh. got really lucky with the timing I got them. Yeah. Like, or, you know, people see your videos and they're like, oh, we gotta get it. Well, and here's the thing. I, I highly doubt that my little like video with a hundred thousand views did that much impact. But like I bought one of these oh. N64s in box here a year and a half, maybe two years ago, and it was like seven thousand yen. And now they're this price. Wow. Yeah. The uh, my Pikachu Nintendo, I think I bought it for like some my yen. Yeah, yeah, I got that as well. The Pikachu uh, N64. Oh, I think yeah. I bought it for some my end. That's mm. one controller for each of my end. Ooh. So, I think if I hold on to them long enough... What did I knock over? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think I ter I'm terrified a child as well. There we go. It's very colorful. Oh, color. Yep. That, that were, hence the colorful. <laughs> The screen, right? Like, yeah, the screen is. Like black and white, then yeah. Then, uh, well, kind of green and gray, but yeah. Green, green, green. It's black and white. Oh, Game Boy. I don't know. Oh, there we are. Oh. Okay. There's so many little like junky gadget stores around here. Oh, like it's just like what? What is your goal? Like, like this store, how in the world does this little shop, like dude's got to just live here and own the building. Yeah, I think so. Because there's like, no way this little shop makes enough money. Yeah. There's no way that some of these shops make enough money in modern day Japan to like, like who's coming in? How are these guys paying rent with like 300 yen junk power adapters? Right? That's what I'm kind of thinking. We're looking at, like generational land here. Because like I saw a, like a TV show where they uh, go door to door oh. to one of those like an old looking like almost like collapsing buildings yeah. in Tokyo, and the worth is like very high because the, the where that that it's located yep. is like worth so much. Yeah, so there's like a lot of that in Tokyo, right? Like old land that they've just sat on the building and they're waiting for some like it's gone a bit, it's like been abandoned for like a generation, mm -hmm. but they're just waiting for some real estate developer to come along and buy it out, right? So, and then there's a whole bunch of figures in this shop here. So, but there's just so many of these computer stores that just don't sell good computers. And I really have genuine questions about that. Oh. So, guys, over the next uh, two days, Saturday. I don't know if it's going to be on Tokyo Lens Shorts or Tokyo Lens Explore or TikTok or Instagram or where. But I'm going to be doing several live streams on Saturday because I got behind the scenes access to an amazing event. That I'm actually pretty excited to share and like... I had to get like approval and background checks and everything <laughs> to get like my pass for this and like so I'm gonna be bringing you guys along on Saturday and just doing repeated live streams throughout the entire day so be ready for that one we're gonna have some fun uh, thank you for hanging out with this absolutely no gimbal walk next week we're gonna be doing live streams on Sherry's channel doing apartment hunting here in Tokyo so be ready for that and we will see you guys again real soon bye bye